Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is one of one, but you can call me seven. And last time on Imposter Factory, Quincy and Linry were trying to figure out if they were going to have their child, which is an important conversation, an incredibly important conversation, considering whatever kind of rare disease Linry has, they're worried about passing it down, but things have really taken a turn because, you know, they got back from the most recent trip and we, because she was like sick and or feeling sick and coughing, we thought, oh, well, I rather I thought that it was going to have something to do with her disease, but no, surprise, she's pregnant. Um, so now they need to figure out what they're actually going to do. Uh, and I'm worried about that, but we'll see. I, I, I mean, they want a family. I think both of them express that they want a family. So let's see how this plays out, because now I really don't know where things are going, especially now that she's left the, um, the Yu Haynes Foundation. So let's see. Also, one thing that I've realized is that like we're seeing we're seeing a a large chunk of their life together um and they're this age now in this recollection because see in the back of my head i'm still thinking well linry was doing something inside memories i don't know this still isn't reality obviously we're still traversing memories what if we start to see them when they're old because i'm in the, in the back of my head i keep thinking well what if this like the way that they're being presented now not in the memories but in the way that they're traversing the memories, what if it's their younger selves, and what if they're old now? That's what I keep thinking, and this also confuses me, not in a bad way, but like, I don't know where chronologically this game fits, um, because I think it must be in the future, after To the Moon and Finding Paradise, but I still don't know. So, let's, let's see what's going on here. So we run through, they've had their discussion, they are still... Oh no. Wait, are they fighting? Oh. Okay. I think that's their storage room, which means that she's ha hanging it up for good. But I thought, oh, I don't know. Our data is slowly getting there. I can't tell what the implication of that is meant to be. But still. Oh, oh, come on, man. Yep, there's the heartbeat. Did you say heartbeat? I see it. Oh, man. Oh, no, no, uh, these are, this is the arm. We got an arm and the other arm. This is so sweet. So they're not fighting? Oh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, we got memory links. Okay. Oh, comfy shoes for sure, and don't forget your prenatal vitamin, and most, but most importantly, sleep. So you can have something to reminisce about. Oh. Okay. Oh, I've got- I'm, I'm, I'm uneasy. Well, we were thinking Tobias, if boy. That's a good name. And Gabrielle, if girl. Oh, those are both lovely names. This is wonderful news. Oh, is he thinking about what it was like to have her as a child? Take extra good care. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. You know you can already find out, right? If you're going to have a boy or a girl. Also, this music. So melancholy. Oh, is this uh is this her snacking? <laughs> well, it looks like what is it? It's a boy. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Okay. Now they're looking for baby clothes. And this one, this will look adorable on little Toby. That looks a little big for a newborn mom. We won't have time to shop like this when the time comes. I guess that's true. Hey. We keep going. I'm, I'm, oh back rubs this is so sweet and what about this you're gonna startle the baby oh all right oh is it a is it a gender reveal yay it's a little anticlimactic when we all got spoiled already i'm not gonna let you miss the chance for a reveal party well at least you're not using a smoke machine yeah man these reveal parties in like in the m recent years have gotten bad and crazy and dangerous 
I felt a kick. That was just my stomach growling. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe dinner first. Wait, was that your stomach too? No, that was. Oh, that wasn't your stomach. Okay. Where do we go now? Oh, oh, it's up. This is an adorable little montage. Still beating strong in there, little guy. And seems like... I'm not, I'm not here for this. Hmm. What is it? Is something wrong with the baby? No, the baby seems fine, it's just... You know, just out of preca precaution, let me book you a couple extra tests in the coming weeks. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bro, I'm not. I'm not. I didn't sign up for this. I mean, maybe I did. Maybe this was my mistake. I should have known. But... Your childhood home, huh? Yeah, I wanted to take you here for a long time now. If only we lived closer to it. <laughs> Better late than never. Something something star, something something lavender. Is this where you keep your nostalgic treasure? Well, there's always something. This music has been slowly killing me, guys. It's sweet and yet sad. And we're going into our room. Oh, wow. You sure read a lot as a kid. Yeah, I loved to. It made me feel like I lived many different lifetimes. It's weird how I can imagine you saying that as a kid with a straight face. Huh. The little prince? No, man. Not the little prince. Yeah, my dad gave this to me so many years ago. It's strange how as the years went by, its story meant something different to me. Hey, let's bring it back. Maybe we can read it to Toby one day. Mm-hmm. Toby. Our guy hasn't been reacting to this at all. Like, actual, like... Like, um... Quincy, as the, the one that we're running around as. Okay. Wait, oh, 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 it's down here. Oops. <clears throat> My bad. Okay, still not a montage. Oh, but they are painting a baby boy's room. It can be any color. It don't gotta be blue. L Linry? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just... Okay, oh shit. Oh, these are Linry's memories so she doesn't remember, yeah? Obviously, there's no recollection. Red and blue. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Not like this. Oh, no. Are, are you sure? We've, we've ran multiple scans. The development is acute, and it seems to be worsening rapidly. Why now, of all times? And the baby? The baby appears to be fine, but... Well, because we caught this so early, there is time to treat you, Linry. That's good. It's not certain, but the prognosis is decent if we... If we start treatment immediately. Wait, to start immediately? Is that okay? For the baby? Unfortunately, no. We need a prematurely induced birth before starting treatment. But it's too early, I know. We have facilities to try to keep the baby alive in that case, but... A birth this early is often not without lasting complications. And if we withhold my treatment until he's ready? Then we'd miss the- Oh my god! Oh my god! <sighs> then we'd miss the optimal window to help you. There should be time for the baby to continue development un uninterrupted, but for you... Even in the best case, delaying treatment would still result in life-altering impairment. And in the worst case... Well, we need you in room five. I'll give you two a moment to think about it. I know it's difficult, but given its nature, you need to make a decision promptly. I'm 
sorry you have to choose. <sighs> what were we even thinking? How did we... How did I ever think... How did I... Oh, uh-oh. How did I ever think this would be a good idea? <sighs> it's my fault. You wouldn't have it if it weren't for me. That's not why I... It was all like a hazy dream, you know? Traveling the world with you, preparing for the baby. This past year, it was all so normal. I just didn't want to wake up. You should get the treatment. What? I'm saying it so you don't have to. Quincy. I'll do my best to take care of him regardless. But you... It's the only way that you'll be even, you'll even be able to. That's not fair to him. Neither would it be for him to grow up without a mom. That's... That's something we should have thought of way before we made a mistake. Okay? Oh, oh, he's... We made a mistake, okay? Oh, jeez. I made a mistake. We can't change the past, but we can still decide from this point on. Quince. We can't lose you. Oh, jeez. We're almost at the end of all available data, which means... That must be the extent of the time that passed. So now we're here. Oh, wow. They're going through with it, huh? Huh. Lots of implications for that. It looks like they made their choice, though. Let's see how it pans out. Ah, very fuzzy. Of course. Barely conscious. There we go. I guess technology had advanced far enough that they could really treat her? Linry! You're awake! Quince, how are you feeling? I... I feel okay. The procedure went smoothly, Linry. We'll continue with the follow-ups, but so far, you're in the clear. And the baby? Oh, you can't look at her when you say it, huh? Early guy. Still alive, it looks like, at least. He's stable right now, but we need to monitor him here for another couple of months. His organs aren't fully developed, and we're keeping him on ventilator. Oh my god. But even then, our help can only go so far. I'm not sure how he'll do as he grows up, but it won't be easy. Do your best to take care of him, okay? Oh, man. Oh, Quincy. This is a lot. This is really a lot for them to have to handle. Oh, getting her a coffee. Just like before. Oh, they've got the baby, and she's, she's, she's still here. Oh, man. Oh, they never finished painting, huh? Oh. Little stroller for the baby? This is gonna make me cry. I'm already tearing up. All the running tests on the baby. On Toby, sorry, he's got a name. 
Ugh. Still the oxygen tanks, but... Oh, they finally have time now to finish painting. Thank goodness. Oh, Look at him! Oh, he's going to school! Oh my god! Look at him! Oh my gosh! Oh, does he want to run and play? Oh! <laughs> oh no! Oh, this is gonna kill me! Oh, are they calling a doctor? Yeah, is he having problems? Oh, oh no! There we go. Hey, it's gonna be okay, buddy. Little Toby. Oh, is he shaking his head? It's his birthday. And now... Oh, they look so sad. Oh. What's going on here? Oh, it's a lot of data. <sighs> oh man, okay. We're gonna be okay, guys. It's gonna be okay. It's alright. We're gonna be fine, don't worry about it. In, in his current condition? Do you- or in his current condition, do you think it'd be okay to go out? Linry. Or Linry. I- uh, his voice was deeper. Uh, yeah, okay. Are they gonna talk? Dad? Where are Mom and Grandpa going? Oh, man. Ugh. They're off to get you something real cool, so just hang on there, okay? Okay. Telescope time? Yeah, telescope time. Could use a little dusting, but still works like new. I can't believe how long it's been. Let's just hope the stars haven't left, huh? Oh, a choice of words. I wanted to wait until he was a little older. Why is that? Well, you only get to see it like that for the first time once. It's nice when it can be appreciated as more than just pretty lights in the sky. Do you still remember when you took- when you first took me stargazing? Was the implication, like... Was it that he thought she was going to die? Is that why her mom was crying? And so he took her to do that because it was like a thing to do before she went? And is that now the implication for Toby? How could I forget? I asked if you wanted to be a star or a lavender, and you said you wanted to be a star, so that... So that everyone else can see how lovely all the lavender are. I lied, you know. I mean, at the time, it was silly. I just wanted to make you proud. But later on, though, I actually did strive to be a star. It was never really because I wanted to. It was only because I was afraid of missing my one chance to shine. I know I'm supposed to want to strive for greatness and leave my mark. Oh, this is gonna make me cry. But is it wrong if all I really wanted to be is just another lavender? <sighs> I don't know about wanting to strive for greatness, Lynn, but 
I know those who leave a mark often never set out to do so. But they do so nevertheless, and often in the most unexpected ways. And hey, whether you like it or not, you sure still left a mark on me. <laughs> I mean, sure, it might not mean something to the whole world, but... Meaning the whole world to someone still counts for something, right? <laughs> uh, this isn't fair. This isn't fair. As you do to me, and as I'm sure Toby does to you. I know you still blame yourself, Linry, but that won't do any good. Nobody's here forever. It's so all we can do is to make the most of what we're given. And that includes time. So, let's go take him to see the wonders this world still has to offer, hmm? Yeah. <sighs> oh, man. What was that? Uh oh. Did he even get the chance? Come on, man. That's not cool. Oh, man, come on. Toby, can you hear me? Please just send someone right away. No, he's not breathing. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. Dude, no. Not like this. Well. Okay. I don't want to end it here, but this is all the time that I have for today. Um, I think, it, actually, you know, I think it's an okay time to end it before I start bawling. Um, there's a lot of things to think about with the decisions they made, the way that Linry and Quincy view their son, their son's life, the choices that they made for themselves, like like th them perceiving their own choices and, and how what they chose with regards to Linry in her life. I think that, you know, they did the best that they could under the circumstances. And I don't think there's a right or wrong decision there either. Well, I don't know. I don't know. You guys can have those opinions for yourselves. I'm not entirely sure. I'm also really emotional right now. I'm, like, in it. So, I don't know. But, like, there's a lot of different themes being explored here. Um, and it's interesting. Illness has always been so prominent uh, in the games. Uh, that Freebird Games creates and the stories that Ken Gao tells. I don't know. Just something to think about. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I definitely did. And I will see you guys in the next video. Maybe bring some tissues. I don't know. For now, have a good rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Bye.